Hello and welcome to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you all how to use and install poses for your game. So in order to do this, you're going to need the pose player and teleport any sim mod. Both links will be left in the description box down below. To do this, we're obviously going to need poses. So a great place to find poses for your game is to go to Lana CC Finds. The link for this website will also be left in the description down below. Here you can find tons and tons of CC and a great place to get poses, which is why we're here. So you want to go to all tag Sims 4 CC, and then once we go there, you'll see poses underneath game mods. Here we go. Click on poses, and as soon as it loads up, there will be a whole list of options of you know different types of poses to choose from. So um, I. Don't want to do anything too extra since this is just for a video. I think I'm going to go with just a single pose. Here we go, quantity, single poses. But yes, as you can see, there are so many choices to choose from. But we're going to do single Alright, here it is. Single poses. And from here, I'm going to show you how to put them into your game. So when you install them, it's just going to be like any other um, CC when you include it. You're just going to pop it into your mods folder and then from there it will already be in your game. So you want to go into your documents and then once you go into your documents, you should see an electronic arts folder. Click on that, click on the Sims 4 and then out of all these folders, you should see one that's labeled mods. That is your mods folder and that's where you're going to be putting the downloads that we've gathered in this video. Okay, so for CAS poses, based, I mean, I don't know why I keep saying CAS. Create a sim. For create a sim poses, basically when you go into the game and you click on a trait, your sim will start posing. And then from there, you can take pictures of your sim posing and whatever, and then have those as screenshots, and you won't actually have to play the game. You can just take the screenshots from create a sim. But uh, the way it works is when you click on the trait, the sim will not stop having the trait. It's just that when they do, when you do click on it, they'll start posing. But that does not mean that they no longer have that trait. trait. But um, I don't want a create a sim pose. I just want something quick and simple so I can show you how to use the um, teleport any sim. Okay, is this cast? Another cast. I don't know why I keep saying cast. Create a sim. What about this? Is this create a sim? No. Okay. Finally, I found one that was a create a sim. So I'm just going to quickly download it. And then once it's downloaded, I will pop it into my mods folder. Alright, so it has downloaded, as you can see here. And oh, this needs to be extracted. Um, I'm gonna quickly unzip this and I'll get back to you guys. Okay, so I have unzipped the um, Oops, what am I doing? I have unzipped the download and what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna drag it from my download Oops, from my downloads and straight into my mods folder and That's all I need to do and now it's in my game. So now that we have downloaded post player we've downloaded teleporting sim mod and we've got ourselves some poses. I'm gonna go in game and show you all how to use these. Okay, so here we are, and the first pose I'm gonna show you all how to use are the creative sim poses. So I already have some installed. I'm gonna, sh I'm just going to show you what that looks like when they are used. I believe the self assured trait comes with a pose pack. So when I click on it. She should start posing. No? Um, how about goofball? Okay, goofball. As you can see, as soon as I clicked on the trait, she started posing out of nowhere. But, of course, when I click on anything else afterwards, she stops posing. But, yes. Once you click on the trait, as you can see, she still is a goofball. She's just doing a little pose, you know, showing off her little outfit. And that's all there is to the creative sim poses. There's really nothing uh, hard about them. They're pretty easy to understand, pretty simple. 
not that difficult. Um, so now we're going to move on to the how to use the post player in a teleport any sim mod. Okay, so here we have our sim. I believe her name is Karina, and I'm going to use her as an example so I can show you how to use the mod and the pose player. I'm really sorry about my game lag. It's a problem, I know. Uh, I just try to work around it as best as I can. And I'm sorry if it uh, irritates you or it's annoying for you. I know what it feels like. I play this game almost every day and I have to go through with this lag. So um, it's actually pretty dark here. But that's not going to stop us from doing this tutorial. So, oh, I didn't, oh my goodness, I almost didn't even show you guys. If you didn't catch that, I actually took this knight in shining armor out of the fruit bowl in the kitchen section. So once you click on that, you should see a little uh, knight here. And you just place him somewhere. And he is going to be the key to us being able to use the teleport in sim mod. So once you click on him, there's summon a sim, teleport a sim. We're going to teleport Miss Pagan. I believe that's how you say her name. Now, when we click on her, now that we have the pose player installed, you should see pose by pack. Click on pose by pack and any poses that you downloaded will appear here. So, um, I don't remember, but I'm just going to do one that's random. Let's see. Let's do this one. And then from here, she will start posing. And if you want to stop her from posing, you're given an option to stop posing. Or you can just X out the action. And that's all I have for you guys. Thank you so much for staying all the way till the end. If you like the video, why not give it a like? Be sure to subscribe for more content like this. And I hope you have a great rest of your day. Bye.